Welcome to all for you, Castara. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Um, we did have a couple of jumpers this morning. We have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now, I do feel there is someone that wants to come out of the cold when it comes to you. I, I don't know if, if you had put them out or um, they just feel like they are or they have been pushed to the outs. So I don't know if it's something that actually happened or it's just a feeling and then they've created distance because of that feeling. Um, so we do have the three of cups, the five of wands, the king of swords, and the page of pentacles. I do believe this person is looking forward to the battle, looking forward to the competition. It's like if they're coming in and there's competition to have you, they're looking to come out victorious. They're ready to swing that sword. Um, I think they actually kind of like the fact that they can win out of maybe a bunch of suitors. I think this person really enjoys that type of energy. I feel like they think they thrive in that type of energy. I don't feel like they're wrong. Um, we have the page of pentacles here. So they do want to make a small offer. Um, so they feel like if they have to battle people off just to get to the top spot to make that small offer, they're going to do that. They do feel like they're going to be victorious in this. They are wanting to come out of the cold. They want to tell you what they're thinking. They've got that page of wands, so they're passionate about you, passionate about spilling their guts to you. Um, maybe not fully and completely, but they definitely want to speak some type of passionate truth. Yeah. Okay, so I do feel like there was an ending in this. Like I said, this person either realizes that you tossed them out of the energy or they felt tossed out of the energy because now we have this death card, so it's rebirthing into this situation. Um, you know, there was an ending and a death, and now there's a rebirth. You know, every end is a new begin again, so... Yeah, they definitely want to come out victorious. They feel like they're going to be victorious when they come out of this. They know what they want. They're passionate about that. They've chosen what they want. They want this cup of love. They want to, I heard even the score, but I feel like even things out. I don't know if they felt, maybe they felt like they did you wrong and they want to come in and heal things. Um, or maybe they feel like both of you made some mistakes and things need to be evened out. Yeah, I feel like when it comes down to it, you are the wish, the hope, the dream. This person sees you as the empress, so whether masculine or feminine, you're the nurturer, you're the one that births these new energies into reality. You've got this really loving, kind, um, emotionally secure energy going on here. Yeah, they've been watching for quite a while waiting for a time to get back in. They feel like, yeah, justice in the situation for this person would be the Four of Wands. Yeah, they've got those arrows of love, arrows of passion propelling them forward. I feel like they're coming out of this quiet to tell you a secret. I feel like the secret is that they want to build with you. They want to have something stable with you. They're still very passionate, still very attracted to you. They want to rush in. They want to be part of your life. Um, you know, maybe they're going to communicate to you that they were upset in the past about the way things turned out in this situation. I feel like they're being very strong um, by coming in and expressing all the things that they want to express. They may feel that you know that they're coming. Some of you could be very, very intuitive or gifted. Yeah, I hear ready to go another round. So I don't know if you've dated this person or they've tried to date you in the past. I do feel like it's something along those lines. Um, they want to be lucky in this. They want to get where they're going. Yeah, I feel like maybe they, they didn't give to this in the past or maybe you didn't give to this in the past. There was definitely a reason yeah, somebody walked off in the past. Yeah, 
and there was the end of that cycle and now this is the beginning of a brand new cycle with the world and somebody's jumping in like the fool and manifesting it with the magician i really love it i feel like this is great energy um it does look to be new energy coming in it does look like if you were with this person or trying with this person this could have been a little bit of uh, like a little while ago, could have been months to years, um, maybe separating or um, going separate ways and then coming back together. It's like this person never forgot about you. Um, I feel like they've kind of been watching maybe over the internet, kind of checking you out and seeing if you're looking to date or if you're available because I think they always just kind of figured they'd come back in your direction. All right. Let's see, where do I wanna go? I kinda of wanna go here. All right, we have the love situations. Ooh. Oh, we have crickets in reverse. Ooh, okay, so I do feel like that landed that way for a reason. Crickets in reverse, so maybe this person was being very loud and now they're going to speak out, whoever they are. I feel like this situation has been a roller coaster, highs, lows, in-betweens. There could be children involved and we have final divorce, so, but it's in reverse. Mm. So, okay, so this could be someone from your past that you were married to or in a significant relationship with. This could be sparking back up and coming back in. You might have signs and synchronicities about this as well. Intervention. You know, maybe the two of you just needed to talk to someone together, like relationship counseling or, yeah. I feel like it's still on the table. The offer, the proposal, the commitment is still on the table in this situation. I feel like this is two people who maybe got into some arguments and things kind of spiraled out, out of control. Maybe two people's feelings got hurt and then they both kept acting out of hurt feelings and kind of building this problem up bigger than it needed to be. Um, you know, there were no apologies. There was no understanding. There was no flexible uh, flexibility when it comes to uh, working with each other. I feel like maybe this broke apart for quite a while. And now it's ready. Yeah, look, the two of you are magnetic. You pull each other back together. Um, so this could be something where, yeah, unexplainable pull, can't resist. So the two of you could be coming back together. This isn't for everybody, but it will be for somebody's, right? Let's see. Yeah, done, but in reverse. Yeah, I, I think Spirit's just trying to say that this might go another full round. Um, yeah, let's see. Is there anything else, Spirit? Anything else about this? Pressure cooker. Yeah, rage, ready to explode. I do feel like somebody's feelings were hurt to the point where, um, you know, that maybe they were explosive with their anger or their words. They might have had to separate just to kind of heal within themselves, you know, go to their own corner, lick their wounds, and actually give them a, a chance to miss you. I feel like you did that. Um, yeah, this person... Now we have grip, anchor, chains weighed down. I feel like there could have been other things going on. There could have been loss involved in this situation, some type of grief. Um, there could have been job loss. There could have been some other factors that kind of added to the pressure cooker of this situation, added to the heat, added to the, the volume of anger and uh, the rage that was kind of building here. Um, and I do feel like it's between two people. I feel, yeah, it gave this person time to have that realization, that awareness. Um, I feel like what came to light is the fact that this person didn't want you to be out of their life, that they do still love you and still care. Maybe things got out of control. Maybe things can be healed. So I feel like this is someone who could, yeah, you, the two of you could have been divorced. You could have sold the house. You could have moved separate ways. Um, I feel like I, I hear via internet. So I do feel like, um, the two of you could still be kind of connected that way, or maybe, um, connected through children. You could be, um, you know, sharing custody with children, but I do feel like, I do feel like this was a situation where there was a marriage, 
Okay, so it's either marriage or a long-term uh, stable connection that was here. Yeah, on the verge. So this may be coming back together. Now, listen, for some of you, this is going to work out. For others, um, you know, it, it's up in the air. I do feel like it depends on two people wanting to put the effort in, wanting to work together, wanting to offer up love and honesty and forgiveness. It takes a lot to heal a situation that got to a point of brokenness, right? So do bear that in mind, but I feel like these are two willing people who willingly want to come back together to try and make it work. Um, if the two of you keep that mindset, I have no doubt in my mind that the two of you can't do the healing work and move this thing forward, right? Um, so it will be entirely up to the both of you whether or not this goes in the right direction. It will be different for everyone. Yeah, settlement. I do feel like this is ever, after everything is said and done. If there was a divorce, that ink is dry and maybe it's been dry for a while. I feel like this person left to their own thoughts realized that they put themselves in a mental prison. Um... We do have karmic, and this could be just be karmic energy that needed to work through. There could have been a third party in this relationship. There could have been some lessons that they needed to learn. Maybe they stepped outside of the marriage or stepped outside of the relationship. I feel like this is two people, though, who do truly love each other. So maybe it's worth it for both of you to step back in there and see if you can make things happen. I do feel like, yeah, this is a situation where there was financial support alimony, um, some type of child support, but there's still love. That's what I'm saying. There's still love. There's still passion between two. I do think maybe it was just one day things got out of hand when it came to the words and feelings and things just exploded. Um, I feel it. I heard my whole world imploded that day. It's like everything just collapsed in on itself. So, you know, that's, yeah, look, ancient history it was in the past, but, you know, we have it in reverse. So it's like we want to kind of bring it back around. We want to kind of step into it again and see if we can we can heal it or fix it. Yeah, this was some type of tragedy uh, for the two of you. Now, we do have forbidden love. So this could have been something where family members were involved, where they tried to affect a marriage or friends were involved and they tried to uh, like they tried to make it seem like this situation was bad and maybe somebody believed it and that's why there was a whole bunch of uh, different things going on here there could be all sorts of reasons as to why this kind of happened the way it did I feel like the main reason things happened the way they did is spirit needed two souls to learn um, and sometimes the only way to learn these lessons is to go through some pretty painful experiences. So anyone who's been on the Ascension journey for, you know, any time at all has realized that it comes with quite a few towers. Um, and, you know, the learning on the journey never actually stops on this Ascension journey. It's like once you're on, you're on. And um, you'll periodically go through breaking down phases and rebuilding phases. Um, that's all for the, so the soul's own growth. Um, so it does show up here that way. I feel like if somebody's asking, why did this happen to us? Well, it was to build back stronger. It was to um, learn something within the self that the soul needed to experience. So that's the spirituality of it. And the physicality can look all sorts of ways. It's like that argument that broke down that led to the divorce or that led to the separation, that led to the child support, that led to... Um, you know, maybe dating outside of this and someone realizing or both people realizing that that's not what they wanted at all. That it's not all it's cracked up to be and maybe they want to give it another go. That's kind of, yeah, look, meeting, uh, two more people meeting, discussing, planning. I do feel like this could be with um, like a third party kind of mediating between the two of you to kind of see if they can help the both of you get to the bottom of this, whatever it is. 
Now we do have twin flames and we do have happiness. So this is a high level soulmate connection, twin flames, uh, high level soulmates. This is all, um, a lot of this energy here could have been for, you know, soul learning purposes. But I do feel like spirit is saying that happiness can be had here. Um, I feel like if both of you are willing to put in the effort and the energy. Is there anything else, spirit? Oh, access granted. Yeah, I do. I do feel like um, the two of you might actually go on a bit of a, a vacation or a staycation where you kind of get back into the sw swing of things like with each other. You might go on a little trip with each other and bring back the romance, bring back that uh, spark in the connection. I feel like access is being granted. I feel like both people want this. That's how you'll know if this is for you. It'll be you and your person both want this situation. You both express that you still want this or you, you want to heal it, right? Um, like I said, it will work out for some and for others, it might be a heavier lesson where you need to go a, a second round to kind of realize it's not what you want, right? So it could go either way, but I feel like it is always entirely up to you, Collective, whether or not you want to jump in and experience something. I am just the reader. I just let you know what is coming, what could be available to you up ahead on that path. It is always your decision whether or not you want to jump into it and experience it, right? All right, let's see. Let's clear that energy. A little heavier, but let's see. All right, um, I was kind of guided to this. Now we do have the child here and the wealthy man and courtship. Do I want that? I do. Okay, I want the poverty card as well. Interesting. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I am talking to someone who is stable. I feel like this wealthy man is um, the one we're talking about here. I feel like this wealthy man could have a child or children. I do feel like they've gotten to a point where they may have been dating around or um, this could be uh, someone who is divorced or separated. They could be dating around they could have actually come into contact with someone who kind of, I hear wanted to turn them upside down and shake them to see everything fall out of their pockets. It's, I don't know if this person is really quick about finding men or women who have deep pockets, but it does kind of seem that way. I don't know if they're working with someone else to kind of siphon money from this wealthy man. Like this person coming in is just running this type of a, a scam. Um, mm, 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 this could be um, this this wealthy male or wealthy man could be. Now I did say wealthy male. So for some, this could strictly be a male uh, for others. If you feel like this fits get it where you fit in, right? Um, I do feel like this wealthy person here was taking care of this child. And I feel like trying to find a social life for themselves, I feel like they realize a little too late that someone is siphoning from them, taking from them, kind of bleeding them dry. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was their energy, their vitality, and their wallet. Um, they, there's just that energy there. This person, it's like, what you give is never enough. This would be the type of person to ask for expensive gifts from someone. Um, like no shame is what I hear. Um, and I feel like maybe this is the past of a situation because over here we have the privileged lady. So I do kind of feel like the wealthy man and the, priv uh, the privileged lady could be a really wonderful match. Maybe because one doesn't need more than the other has to give you know um so even if you're not particularly wealthy you could be financially stable and feeling kind of good not needing anyone to kind of put in for you you know this person could be coming in like this as well i do feel like maybe this person has learned their lesson and is this could be you collective i do feel like this person might be coming in your direction yeah with that journey card there's that 
bridging the gap. They might want to offer you little things. Maybe they waited a while until they could get their money back up or get their their stress level under control because I feel like this situation of the past with this particular person who is kind of siphoning from them or taking from them more than they they needed, you know. Um, I feel like they needed time to heal from that situation and I feel like maybe you're just the obvious type of choice for this part. Yeah, you're the obvious choice, choice as far as paths go. This person may have actually had to divorce from this person. This could be somebody that they married and maybe there was a, a side person that they were kind of sending that money over to. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting. It, it was like running a big scam. Yeah, adjudication. I feel like those, this person and uh, this person who were kind of taking from you, maybe they were running some type of an actual scam and, uh, you know, this maybe went to court and things maybe got settled. Maybe this person is looking to come towards you now because they've had some time to heal. Maybe their community, the people around them, is encouraging them to go towards somebody that they're thinking about. I feel like this person could be you. Um, I don't know if there's a past to the situation between you and this person. There could be. For others, this is just the fact that they're focused on you. Maybe in despair as well about what they passed up on. Because I do feel like for some, they passed up on the opportunity with you. Yeah, they're looking to change their luck. Oh my gosh, wow, spirit on deck. They're looking to change their luck, sudden wealth. Um, and I feel like this would be in life, in love, in all areas. I feel like having you would be a bonus. Um, I don't know if it's just the vibration that you carry. Let's see, is there more? What do we have about this spirit? Yeah, great fortune. Um, this person just knows that they could thrive with your energy. I feel like you bring something to the table. I don't know if you're encouraging, loving, nurturing, um, whether masculine or feminine, I do feel like you have something to bring to the table. Um, you might not be exceedingly wealthy. You could be stable and happy and loving and kind and the way this person is looking at you it's like hitting the jackpot now like i said this person doesn't have to be crazy wealthy they could just be stable in this day and age i mean that's difficult for a lot of people to remain stable with the way the economy is so that's kind of what i'm getting here it's like it could go either way this person could be extremely wealthy it doesn't have to be though um that's just the way it shows up in this kind of old-timey energy deck um, but I feel like spirit's getting their point across yet. This person sees you as the lover. They see you as the match. There's a purity here between the two of you. I feel like, wow, um, we have high honor here, but I heard with this as soon as I touched it, it's like I would go to war for you. So it's like where others maybe uh, wouldn't go to war for you or wouldn't even lace up their boots. This person is all suited up and ready to go. It's like they're standing by your side, by your side, he may have many signs about this, um, but this person is ready to stand by your side and fight the battles of life with you. I feel like that might be how you know this person. It's like they're looking to come in and um, explain themselves or explain their past and to be really open and honest with you, to really invite you into their community, to make you part of it, to give you a stable environment to kind of step into. There's something about your maturity level and um, the way you see life or the way you maneuver that also really attracts this person. They're ready to say goodbye to their past fully and completely and step into the new. Yeah, the past with the thief. Wow. They're ready to invite you into their stability. They, we have this mansion house here. So... For some of you, there could be money involved here. It, it does seem to be the theme that keeps on coming up. Or, you know, <laughs> you, know you I guess you do have to kind of be pretty wealthy to have your own home, especially as a single person. So this person might do very well for themselves, just as a side note. 
yeah, I feel like this part, look, we have the mature woman and the mature man. I do feel like both of you have a sense of maturity. It doesn't have to be age, although it could be, but I do feel like this particular situation, the blending is going to be really, um, I do feel like very easy with the two of you. Yeah, and then you're off in search of distant horizons. I really love this. I feel like it's going to go in a really good direction, but maybe this person's past had slowed them down quite a bit. Maybe you've been waiting for that soulmate to come in and they've just been a little tied up, but I feel like they're on their way. I love to see it. I feel like it looks like good energy. It looks like this looks to be someone who is serious about what they want and who they want. You, collective, so. I like it. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go here. Where are we? Oh yeah, we've got time. I've got this deck and one more. All right, what do we have for this gorgeous collective? Let's just. Okay, I want this. Self-indulgence, self-worth, value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. And we have cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Okay. All right, collective. This is someone who um, definitely, yeah, I hear cold turkey. It's like Stonewall. Um, I'm hearing all sorts of, it's like how to go cold on the narcissist or on the person who is uh, mistreating you is kind of what it feels like. Um, let me see if I can get, yeah, look, there's no more forward movement in that particular situation. Okay, so someone has decided out there that they're going to focus on self. Now, I am hearing timeline, so for some of you, this is your past. For some of you, this is your here and now. For some of you, this is your immediate future. You're going to cut someone out. You're going to uh, quit all contact with this person. There's going to be no more forward movement with that person. You're going to block their number and change your locks on your doors. It, it does kind of have that energy here. Yeah, look, we're not nostalgic about the past. We're not looking to make new memories. We've got that picture in reverse. Um, I feel like you're setting healthy boundaries. Yeah, you're saying goodbye to this karmic relationship and you're wanting something more healthy. Um, yeah, and you know to have that, you have to have a death in this situation and end to the situation. Um, this relationship is over, no second chances, grow, transform, what's dead is dead. And I feel like it's all for the best. So maybe you're not ready today to step into something new, but do know that there is something beautiful. <laughs> the spirit on deck. There is something beautiful down the road and um, right after that healing work has come into play there is the opportunity for something more to be had with someone who is going to treat you better so don't cut love out completely just kind of put it on mute while you do your healing work if this is you in the here and now spirit saying that up ahead you'll have more chances do the self-work now indulge in self and healing that heart and that mind getting yourself to a very healthy place, making those healthy choices for yourself. You know, start small. Um, start choosing healthy meals for yourself. Start fueling your body in the proper way that feels right for you. Um, maybe get back out there and start taking a little walk. Get that exercise if you don't, right? It's just starting to make those healthy choices in life as well. Um, yeah, this person may still try to chase you, but we have that golden mirror. It's the narcissist love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. They could be trying to do that from afar. I feel like this person doesn't want to lose their supply of ego booster. I, I do kind of feel that that might be what it is. Um, this person's going to be completely shocked, especially when you they kind of show back up in your life. You'll be stronger then. And I feel like they're going to see... They're going to be completely shook is what I hear. I see shock, but I hear shook um, about how far you've grown or how, how much stronger you are. You're not going to be the person that they, that, you know, they, they missed in the past or they messed up with in the past. You're going to be so far ahead that they're going to be completely shocked. 
this person could have backstabbed you over and over again. This person could have, uh, I heard pilfered money from you. So taken money from you and then blown you kisses and tried to, this is that love bombing. It's like, oh, I messed up. Let me go buy you flowers. You might be the type of person now I am hearing something along the lines of something I used to think about back in the day. It's like, um, hating flowers because what they represent is I messed up. It's like someone who dreads getting flowers or dreads seeing their person come home with flowers. It's like, what did you do now? It's kind of what I feel like this energy is. Watching, looking, perception, stalking. Um, they're look, they sabotaged it, but they're looking to rebuild. They're persistent. They're love bombing. Um, they keep wanting to say, hey, let's meet up. Let's talk. They're still interested. I feel like you're not having it. And I really love that for you. I feel like that negative toxicity is a part of your past. And yeah, you might be starting to date new people. Um, for some of you, you're already in this stage where they kind of met up with you or maybe they saw you out and about and you are miles from where you've been. You're a completely different person. The strength is there. Um, and I feel like you're not afraid to bite back. And I feel like after this type of situation, I feel like it's really good to find your voice. It's really good to speak your mind. It's really good to be able to speak what you want to speak because I feel like so many people are silenced in relationships like this um, and it takes a while to find your sass and your voice and it's okay to act from there and speak your truth. Now, am I saying go crazy and berate this person? No, but I am saying set your healthy boundaries and speak your truth. I feel like that's really, really important not to be silenced by, by someone like this. Listen, or not to tell your story or speak your truth. Now, um, about what happened to you maybe in this situation, a lot of times they try to silence their victims even after the fact. Um, the victims stay silent for a, quite a long time. So um, I feel like, you know, if you found your voice and you're speaking your story, that's okay. Maybe you're writing a book. Maybe you're telling people about, um, you know, the warning signs and the red flags, you know, what to kind of see. You could be putting things up online that just talk about narcissistic relationships or something to the effect of abusive relationships. It doesn't have to be specifically narcissistic, but I do feel that energy here. And I feel like, you know, if people had wanted you to speak better about them, they would have been better behaved. Don't you think? Right? So I feel like it's okay to speak your truth. Um, and I feel like you can do it in such a way uh, where it, you're not legally liable, right? Um, without saying a person's name, you can put your, you know, your experience out there, what you kind of went through to kind of help others through that type of situation as well. I feel like you're very grounded now. You're very safe. You don't have to wear that I'm okay mask. And I feel like that's exactly what I heard, the I'm okay mask. Um, it was okay to fall apart. And I feel like this comes from a person who has been strong for too long and needed that time to just fall down, cry it out, get the assistance that they needed. You know, you might've had to go to some type of counseling. Um, and you know, I hear grief and it's like, there is a sense of grief that comes from these types of situations. Like I stayed in it for far too long or, um, you know, I was so kind and I was, I was just a doormat and it's kind of seeing all of the things that kind of came from this situation. There is a mass amount of healing that comes from these types of relationships. So don't be worried if it takes you a little longer to kind of work through these things before you feel like stepping into something else. Spirit's just letting you know that that can be an option for the future. Like I said, some of you could be in this now or getting to this now. Um, and the past is a dead and done thing. Your passion's returned. You're out and about mixing and mingling. Um, maybe there's new partners, new, uh, new experiences to be had, new memories to be made with that camera. Um, new, well, we do have twin flames here, but, um, new soulmates coming in. So I'm going to put it that way. Just higher level soulmates coming in. Um, you could call it a twin flame. You could call it a high level soulmate. You can call it whatever you want, but that's the energy of it. 
Um, and I feel like right now you have the ability to have a poker face with this person from the past. So if you were to meet them out, I feel like you wouldn't deal with any of their BS. None of their um, old tactics would work on you. You're way too slick for that. You see that red flag a million miles away. You see that clown coming, right? And I feel like that's where you are now. Um, or that's where you're going to be. So sit tight, hold tight, do that healing work. And I promise you, you'll find your, your strength and you'll be stronger than you ever were before. Guaranteed. Um, yeah, you're not trapped anymore by this situation. You're not feeling low, like you're not enough or that you'll never be enough or that all the things that you do, um, will never be enough, right? I feel like you feel very secure, uh, with, who you are and what you have to offer. I feel like that separation here will continue and um, you will head forward into um, a union or a marriage or new soul connections. Maybe someone who can be really, really devoted and really, really loving and there can be a, a level of sweetness and growth that comes from this brand new connection. Could be very, very soon for those of you who've done the healing or in the future for those of you who are still working on it. Get yourself stronger and um, really focus on you. And I promise you, you will have such a beautiful future ahead of you. You just gotta scrape yourself up, dust yourself off and do the healing work, right? I love this for you. I feel like I don't love the fact that you had to hurt, but I love the fact that you, you've gained your strength from this or you will and you'll step forward and you have a beautiful life ahead of you. Life's not ending, it's just beginning. I love that. All right, big hugs to you if you had to go through that. And if nobody's told you, I'm proud of you. You had to scrape yourself up off the floor. You had to really look at those um, difficult pieces of self, maybe things that you allowed or, um, you know, because we're responsible for that. We're responsible for how we allow people to treat us. And I feel like that's something you have to learn. It's like we do have to kind of, even in those types of situations where we are the victim, we do have to turn the finger back around and point it at ourselves because in some ways we were in a state of allowance, right? And we can forgive ourselves for that, absolutely. But I do feel like, um, you know, there is a certain amount of accountability that we need to take in these situations. And I feel like you'll get there if you're not there yet. Um, so again, big hugs to you. I know that's a tough situation. All right, we have direction. All right. Sorry, heavier topics. Okay, that's just what's coming out today. So, all right, direction, release. I, I am kind of seeing the tether. Um, so this could be you stepping onto your new path or you don't have to resonate with the last one to resonate with this one, but I am kind of seeing a tether. So if you resonated with the last one, you might also fit here too. Yeah, there's that passion is back, change to be had. Um, so this is you finding your new direction, releasing all the things that no longer serve you. Um, it could be old coping mechanisms as well. This I do kind of feel like is further down on the journey. It's like certain habits that you picked up um, like for your survival in rougher situations might not actually help you as you expand. So we do have to kind of learn and unlearn things as we go along. So I feel like you could be at a point where you have to unlearn something. It's like it may have worked for you while you were healing um, to maybe be a little standoffish or to kind of keep your boundaries up a little higher to um, it's like learn how to react in a situation to kind of keep those boundaries where they are. But I feel like once you've kind of accomplished that and you're through quite a bit of healing work in your life you do kind of need to let go of those and adopt new ways of being. Like every level requires new lessons and new understandings. So the expansion here is unlearning certain war tactics that you don't need anymore. 
they're just not, they're, they're taking up space, you know, and maybe creating a heavier energy. So spirit is asking you to release those, to grab more of your passion, your fire, and bring it back through you. This is more, uh, this is just another level of your Phoenix energy. I feel like this is very much my Phoenix rising pile. Um, I feel like you're getting to the point where you are unconditional love. You feel that for yourself and you may even look at the world and people out there uh, like that. I do feel like you could be an empath as well, a star seed, an earth angel, whatever you want to call it. I do feel like you're tuned in, tapped in um, to, I feel like spirit in some way and then your inner self or your higher guidance. I do feel like I'm talking to someone who is guided by their soul compass which I really love to see. I feel like that's a really powerful position to be in. Um, it takes a lot of power to be so soft and so gentle and so understanding and kind and compassionate. I do feel like that's the type of person I'm talking to. You know, oftentimes it takes a lot of harsh energy for someone to get to their kindness and their compassion, right? Um, to look at the world as if everybody is fighting an unknown battle and to be understanding because of that. I feel like that's kind of the type of person that I'm talking to here. Um, I feel like spirit is saying where you're standing is extremely admirable, right? Um, admirable. I feel like you've done a lot of work. You've uh, worked through the cold freeze. Maybe you had to kind of freeze out your feelings for a while. And as they thawed, you would take things one by one to heal them, right? So you weren't overwhelmed. While you were finding balance in your heart space, um, I feel like spirit is kind of saying, it's so wonderful. You weren't really being stubborn on this. You were willing to adjust your sails and willing to um, work through the harder darkness um, to get to your stable place. You were willing to step in and do the work. And you knew the, all the while that spirit was on deck with you. Now, you can go anywhere and do anything. It's like that cycle, that old cycle is gone and it's never going to return. You never have to worry about something like that happening again because you're a different person now. You could spot those red flags a million miles away. Um, and I feel like that's the difference. So if there was any fears that still needed to be kind of thawed out about the future and what could possibly be, it's like, what if I get involved with a person just like my past person? Well, I feel like from where you're standing, you don't have to worry about that. I feel like intuitively, you know, um, yeah, you're, you're in such balance. It's so beautiful. Intuitively, you know, you're stronger now. You're a different person now. Um, and this new version of you, this strong, powerful, beautiful, loving, kind, compassionate version of you um, can see things more clearly, right? And I feel like you're devoted to yourself, your path, your purpose. You're persistent about your, your forward movement and your growth. And I feel like this new version of you would never fall for, you know, what the version of you in the past did. It's like when we know better, we do better, right? Um and at the same time, we can't berate ourselves when we look back for not knowing what we didn't know before we learned it, right? So there's that compassion there. And I feel like you're showing showing that to yourself. Spirit is just saying, I feel like through many signs and synchronicities that you have so much more to look forward to. We have accomplishments. And I feel like you're already wearing that crown of accomplishment. You've already come so far. You're miles and miles from where you've been. I love that for you. Um, but you're still, you've still got so far to go. Um, Spirit is saying up on that journey along this beautiful winding path, you have so many beautiful new beginnings coming and so many full circle moments. It's like, wow, look where I've been and look where I am. And I feel like Spirit just wants to say on this path, you've done a lot of hard work. You've climbed those mountains and you've crushed those goals. Um, Look at you. I, I mean, you're just, you're sailing hard to the horizon. You know there's more out there to be had for you. And I feel like spirit is just kind of praising you for everything that you've done. You've got so many good things up ahead. Look, it's all because you've stepped into your power. This kind, compassionate, loving, gentle human being 
that you're becoming or that you've become is so beautiful to spirit. They really truly see you. And I feel like um, you are that shining star. I feel like you're heading towards those wishes, hopes, and dreams, but I feel like this is how spirit sees you. You are their shining star. Um, and you could also be a North Star for others who are going through or um, have been through similar situations to your own. Maybe you speak up about the way things had to end or um, the actions that you took to get you to where you're going. How you had to take a leadership role in your own life because you realized at that point that you hadn't. Um, and things become clear when you start taking the rose-colored glasses off and really viewing the situation and seeing everything for what it is, right? Only then can you get to a point where you can have that energetic movement forward and that growth. Um, that was the key, you know, to your healing and your expanding. And now look, you're in a place of prosperity and I feel like you're still bringing that in. It's really, really gorgeous, but I feel like you're so tuned in, tapped in that you know you've got that fire in you. And I feel like it's divine fire. We have ancient wisdom here. You're forging your new path. Every every choice you make is forging this new powerful path. Um, you don't need to be overly um, obsessed with your boundaries at this point. I feel like the way you treat yourself sets the pace. It's like people know how to treat you because of the, the standards that you keep yourself to. It's like, I treat myself really good. I take care of myself. Nobody's going to come in and, and bring you down off your throne. That's not going to happen. Um, so it's like you're open to relationships that actually have reciprocity now. You've put yourself in a really beautiful place. You can really transform your life. I feel like Spirit's saying you're so powerful. You're so strong. Um, yeah, that inner growth is off the charts. I feel like romance could be coming in for you very, very soon. You could be calling in that soulmate um, or your spirit is calling in its match. Um, there is going to be a victory coming up here. One that's really, really abundant as well. Really, really stable environment. Really balanced, giving, taking, loving. I feel like that inner house has been healed here. Um, you might even be starting a new family with someone. This person is going to be loyal and you, the two of you are going to be very attached to each other in a really beautiful way. I've exhausted the deck. Um, who are you? You're amazing. Uh, congratulations. And I feel like I feel so proud of you right now. So I feel like that spirit just kind of putting that forward. It's like you've done so well and you've done so much. You should be so, so proud of yourself. You're shining in the most beautiful ways possible. Amazing. You are amazing. I love that for you. I really, really do. All right. Let's step in here. You are a powerful person. Wow. All right, let's see what we've got here. What do we have for this gorgeous collective? I'm talking to some amazing people. I love that. I love that I get to connect with this energy. Thanks for sharing that with me, collective. All right, I heard number one, and I heard keep it moving. Um, and I feel like somebody is just celebrating. I've still got that that celebratory energy going through me right now. I just heard something about 8,000. Um, hmm. What is that? Okay, it's money. I don't know if it's money coming in towards you. This could be a windfall for some. This could be something that's owed to you. This could be a legal thing. Um, this could be a winning of some sort. This could be the amount of money you've managed to stay, to save up on the side. Or for some, this could be inheritance of some sort. And I heard something with sports as well. And I heard he could go all the way. So it's like, um, yeah, I see, I see like a football uh, person and they're kind of like, I see this guy and he's going for the touchdown. Um, and he's weaving through uh, the opposition. And it's like, 
he's just so much quicker than the rest. And I feel like I am either talking to someone who is one into sports and is really shining and catching the attention of um, uh, potential colleges or, uh, you know, going bigger. So like NFL. Um, so I I'm seeing that and I hear keep it moving because uh, it's like you've got that right stuff or you've got what they're looking for. Now, if this doesn't apply to sports and this is just in life, I am talking to somebody who is just, uh, you're going to be celebrating soon because whatever it is that you're doing, you are a cut above the rest. You're quicker than the rest. You've got more to offer than the rest. You're just showing up really big. And I feel like Maybe you kind of minimized yourself in the past and you were afraid to kind of like make people feel bad by showing up like you were omitting pieces of yourself to make others around you comfortable. And it could have been in the workplace. It could have been um, out there online. Maybe you have a certain business. I just feel like you've gotten to the point where you said, forget this. I can't stop being who I am to make everyone comfortable. So you started shining. And now for a lot of people, they're like, wow, you know, I feel like instead of being like angry that you're the competition or that you're soaring above the rest, I feel like people are like, wow, okay, that's an inspiration. Um, I want that. And I feel like you're inspiring others. So by keeping yourself small, you weren't, you weren't doing anything for yourself nor for the people around you or even uh, those who are maybe competing with you. This could be a competitive thing. Like, um, you know, it could be business. You could have a business and you know other people in the business, but now you've got something that puts you a cut above the rest. I feel like go for it. Um, you're going to be shining. You could take it really, really far. Um, let's see. I heard something about jig and then I saw a fishing pole. So <laughs> now we're, we're taking it to relax island time type of energy. I don't know if somebody is looking to go fishing or um, to kind of quiet the mind for an afternoon. Yeah, I just see somebody sitting singularly um, and it's almost like in a wooded area. There's a little pond, there's peace of mind, there's quiet, there's listening to the birds and the bugs buzz. Um, and there's just the splash of the fish. And um, you might see, I, I'm seeing turtles kind of like sunbathing along the outskirts of the lake. Um, it looks to be a really, really peaceful energy. So um, maybe some of you just need an afternoon off or you just need to take that time and clear your mind so you can step back in with more peace in your soul. Um, sometimes we really need to give ourselves that energy. Um, to kind of renew our spirits. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who works so hard and maybe doesn't play as hard, but deserves it. So if you deserve an afternoon or, um, you know, put in for it. If you deserve a day where you can just go out and find your peace of mind, uh, doing something that you love, do that. It doesn't have to be fishing. Excuse me, it could be anything, um, a hobby, something you love or a place you love. I feel like indulging in that could be really, really healing. And her fantastic. Yeah, and I'm hearing renewed. I feel renewed. Fabulous. All right. I heard me time. Yeah. All right, let's hop in here and see what we have. What do we have for this gorgeous collective? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, and I heard from yesterday. So Spirit is kind of calling out yesterday's read. Okay, yesterday's read was if if you had missed it and you're interested in love readings and unions, yesterday's read might be the read for you. Um, did have a bunch of union-esque me um, messages come out yesterday. I do feel like that is also coming through here. You do have a high level soulmate twin flame connection here. This is someone who wants to be part 
of your web. They want to be on the inside now. They don't want to be on the outside anymore. They want to put an end to the separation. They're flying over in your direction. They want to open up with this can opener. They want to open up to you. They want to create great change with this black cat. They want their luck to change. Look at that. And then we have change. Yeah, big change going on here. Um, this person might be telling you that you're that moon in the sky for them. You're that North Star. It's like you're that one that stands out. And I feel like they're going to tell you that. You might be unaware that this person ever saw you that way. Maybe it's a secret that they kept for themselves. Maybe back in the day they weren't able to tell you how they felt. They just didn't have it in them then. Maybe they weren't brave enough then or they were going through things then. But I feel like it's coming in. This person is flying in your direction. Um, I, I hear like their pants are on fire. I saw the, the fire. So they're, they're coming in really, I hear coming in hot really, really fast. Um, the images, if I could share the images sometimes, my, my guides are so funny with the images sometimes. Um, but I feel like this person is very, very passionate about you. We're seeing the fire and I'm seeing the heart and I'm seeing the, um, heart flames and soul song coming out. It's like, this person is guided to you. They're magnetized to you. They're coming in very, very soon because they don't want to miss the opportunity. I feel like this person might be surprised that you're still single. Um, and I feel like because if they would have had the ability to, they would have scooped you up a long time ago. And I don't know what the situation is for this person or what it was, but I feel like now's the time. It wasn't before. Um, I don't know that it was a missed opportunity for this person or just the, the energy. It's like the pre before I get to it energy. It's like maybe this person didn't know you were going to actually be part of their future. You might be caught a little off guard. This could be a complete surprise to you as well. Um, that this person has love for you, a depth of emotion with that moon. The moon moves the tides. It makes me think of the water. So it's like there's a depth of emotion and there's a high of energy that comes to the love that this person uh, wants to share with you. Gorgeous energy. I love to see it. You've got that high level soulmate, that twin flame coming in very, very soon. All right, Collective, that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.